Hi guys, Impact is here today I'm bringing you episode number 27 of my Road to Prestige. This one should be going up or at 12pm on Tuesday the 28th. I say that because it's currently half past 12 on um, Sunday the 26th. I've done quite a few recordings in the last 24 hours. And I'm still going straight forward for it because it's what I'm going to need to do. I need to get ahead. I do need to get ahead on the videos again. I don't think there's actually m many things to talk about today because pretty much I spoke about them in all the other videos which I've done recently today. Um, I will try and find a topic to talk about, but I highly doubt I can find one. So this, look, well, I said this video goes up on Tuesday at 12. In three more days, I should be having my um, random class generator back. And my other series, like the free for all series, all of that will be back. So I'll be stationed for that. Obviously, on Monday the fourth, I do start my uh, new series of The Walking Dead on YouTube. And on Tuesday, I do start the series of FIFA 16 career mode. So that's that. What was this? Just look at the past completion rate at Mesut Ozil 1088 and hashtag jer play hashtag civic at 5 pm UK time. Alles gut Mesut. Mesut Ozil Germany. I don't know why I say Germany by the way, but uh, why not in Germany? Appearances 3, minutes played 270, assists 1. No, come on Ozil, that's not good enough. Only one assist. Pass completion rate is 93%, key passes is 12 and 4 dribbles. One beast. Oh, absolute god. It's not good enough for the assist though. We need to get like 12 in the game later today. Here you go. Laurent Cossioni of France. Appearances 3 minutes, play 2 7, 8. Tackles 4, interceptions 8. Clearances 14, and recoveries 21. What a beast of a defender. Do 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 do. Any other I'm just scrolling down Twitter just because I don't have a clue if there's anything. Any news? Please tell me there's some news. Show me the news. Oh yeah, today marks the day since Oliver Giroud scored. Uh, scored, no, sorry, today marks the day since Oliver uh, Giroud signed for Arsenal four years ago to today, so 2012, 26th of June, so two days ago. I'm sorry, but yeah. I'm pretty sure there's no more news. Fantastic. Ashley Cole sent off in Cali Classico after two yellow cards in one minute. Fucking hell, Ashley Cole. You're mental. Yeah, I don't think there's any more news. From nothing to talk about to string in a commentary for almost four minutes. Or attempting to, at least. It's not gone too well, but... Because there'll be a lot of worse. And very much worse. There's literally no news on Sky Sports, so what am I meant to do? Sky Sports, make no, no, make no news. <sighs> yeah, by the way, both of the games in this episode are both nuke towns. I think we win them both and they're both very close. And in the second game I'd get last kill, so just add that onto my ending kills. Let's go on to Sky Sports again and see what's happening. Check this, there's not any last news. Obviously, the, uh, the three fixtures that happened on the 26th, so Sunday the 26th, so two days ago was France v Ireland, or Republic of Ireland, Germany and Slovakia, Hungary and Belgium. The Copa, Amer uh, Copa America, that was already done. Colombia and USA for third, third and fourth place playoffs, Colombia won that. Obviously, in a few, hopefully, in a few days, so what day is it today, is it? It is Tuesday the 28th. You can expect on Thursday the 30th for there to be the, review, re the England review, hopefully. 
may be Wednesday, it may be Thursday. But, as of the 30th, Poland do play Portugal. I believe England will play on the 3rd of July, if we go through. We might even play on the 2nd, to be honest. Not too sure exactly, but we'll soon find out. And it's very tiring to stay up most of the night and only have a few hours sleep. Just when there's no news to cover, you just wanna just... Nah, no, what's happening? Please give me some news to talk about. Let's check Facebook. No, I'll just check a bit on that. There's not gonna be any news on Facebook. Oh, hang on. Let me go to the Arsenal app, see if there's anything nice here. Let's see, that game was close. We won 100 to 98. Right, click news. Okay, it doesn't work on the app. Let me just type it on in, on my computer. Oh, let me spin around. Well, hey, right. Oh yeah, I did mention a few episodes ago that when I'm going to full park, I might record. I'm, hang on, I might not. Have I might not have said it in a video, but I definitely spoke about it with friends in uh, on Xbox. My phone isn't too bad. I could easily record and glue the clips together on an editing app on my phone, and then I could up that, um, upload that to a uh, video. Pretty much like a vlog, just without me in it. Um. Basically, I will try and record around the park. Probably, I might, if it's not too crowded, which it probably will be. But I guess we'll have to wait and see if there is that. If that is going to happen, then that'll be a bonus uh, video. Just like everything else would be. Like, why did I click Sky Sports, for fuck's sake? Okay, that's just fucked me over. Now I've got to go to the Arsenal page, which is where I was meant to go to. Just loading, two seconds. My right, guy's loaded. Let me go to the news side of things. When it loads, I will go into the um, media watch. Right. Come on, hurry up. My media watch, here we go. The Daily Express says Arsenal are competing with Southampton for Sufayan Abu Fell. The Daily Express reports the Gunners have entered the race for Alexandra Lacazelle. Oh, thank fuck. If the Daily Express, you not better not be lying to me, because if that is true, then thank fuck for that. The Daily Mirror suggests um, Arsenal are considered to move for Islam Soleimani, or whatever his name is. And that's on Sky Sports as well. The Gunners will buy, uh, want to buy a Croatia International Ivan Perisic from Inter Milan, reports TalkSport. According to, to the star, Arsenal are in line for to sign Romelu Lukaku from Everton. 4-4-2 assesses the impact made by Granit Xhaka at the Summer European Championship. The Daily Express believes Arsenal Wenger is eyeing a move for Marquinhos Kipri Kipriano. The Daily Star also suggests that Gunner, uh, the Gunners are competing with Liverpool for Hussein Ayora, or whatever his name is. The Daily Star says Arsenal are in a move for Yannick Carrasco. Dali Mira believes Arsenal are ahead of Liverpool to, uh, to sign Mario Goetze. Reports target a side high shed. Adrian has ruled out a transfer. The Daily Express says Arsenal are competing with Liverpool for Douglas Santos. That's all the news from January 23rd to this current day. I don't. Well, it's not all the news. I just don't want to go too far back. Talks about Quincy Promes, Romelu Lukaku again, Luciano Vieto, Gonzalo Higuain. Tyrese Campbell, which is a youngster, Steven Jovic, yeah, that's just everything I've spoke about before, pretty much. So, from a commentary that I said, I didn't have a clue what I was going to speak in it. To string it up for almost 10 minutes is not too bad. I will just quickly mention, again, that FIFA series I'm doing, which starts on Tuesday the 4th, 5th, sorry, Tuesday the 5th, I believe, let me check. Tuesday the 5th, yes. Tuesday the 5th is the famous day of starting a FIFA career mode for Southampton. 
I don't fi I don't actually know how long that will go on for. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry that I left this scoreboard up so long, by the way. I completely forgot I had it up. Just ignore the scoreboard. I'll take it off in about five, four, three, two, one, bang. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> oh, they're remembering. I just remember I took it off around that side. But anyway, the FIFA career mode, I don't know how long it's going to last for. Hopefully, I can get through at least one whole Premier League season. Hopefully I can win some stuff, like, hopefully, like the league objective, I said this before, I don't know where I said it, but the league objective, I might have even said it in that video, which obviously isn't out yet, but the league objective was to uh, qualify for the Euro League, so the Europa League. I'm going to try and one step that up and go for the Champions League. I'm also going to try and, um, what's it, try and win some of the cups. Maybe... Even if I can throw a second season in, that would be fantastic. The reason why I'm only doing two games per episode, though, is because it will be too long and it will take forever to upload. I'd rather just do two games. Plus, there's more episodes for you then, and the series will last longer, sort of, in episode-wise. But anyway, that will do it for the commentary. I've strung it together for the whole video, pretty much. So thank you for watching this. If you did enjoy this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Suggestions down below. Be on the lookout for the new series coming next week, Monday the fourth and Tuesday the fifth. Uh, That's when they start. But anyway, if you didn't, if you did enjoy this, like I said, leave a like on this video. It lets me know if you did enjoy it. And thank you for watching. See you later, and have a nice day.